everyone and welcome back. Today we will be looking at a segment by Just Pearly Things. This clip is, this is Pure Female Delusion and I'm going to comment on this as well because there is this trend that's going on that I mean I noticed it well within the past decade. I just was kind of shy with talking about this or even opening up about this or else you know the feminist crazies will come out so without further ado let's go ahead and watch the show with the amount of labor that women do and the, that men do yeah, yeah but, but, like men, but men make more money statistically so you could just say the men yeah. contribute more yeah men provide like, value in like other if, a dude's, if a dude's paying my rent he's not doing shit okay. he's not doing shit around the house I yeah, was, but like, women also work, so like they're also doing a nine to five. Like maybe a third. So like, but I'm saying statistically, men make more money. I just so want, go ahead. Sorry, I go just on. wanted to ask mm -hmm. all your statistics and your percentages, mm -hmm. all of that. Where did you find it? Is it in the UK? Is it in the US? UK and US. Um, Which, there's, there's, there's a little bit of a disparity yeah. between the UK and US, specifically when it comes to divorce. Is 64 percent in the UK. And it's 80% in the US. And who carried or out 90 the studies? Um, the government. The government, government studies, took how many women? 100 women and then asked them about their life? And so do you think, do you think if, you, if you do three, four different studies and they all come up to similar conclusions, we can, we can say that it's around 80%, 90% if you're... Yeah. Divorce lawyers. Divorce courts. If, okay. We're getting the statistics from there so we can see who's initiating the divorces. Like and someone has to file. Right, exactly. Well, so when you file easy, for divorce, yeah. it goes on record. So okay. it's 80% of women that, that are women. fighting for divorce. How would and you the, improve the situation for, like, I feel like you both have, like, heard, you know, thought about this a lot. Like, what would you say that both men and women can do to improve the situation? I think a financial abortion should be legal. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, I think that if um, women have the right to get an abortion, men should be able to get a financial abortion so they can sign off all rights and not pay any child support. Whoa. Who wants to play bodies? I think a financial abortion should be legal. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, I think that if um, women have the right to get an abortion, men should be able to get a financial abortion so they can sign off all rights and not pay any child support. Whoa. Is I would that... say that's one thing. Because the way it is now, like, women are incentivized to get kids off of rich guys. Like, the NBA had to issue a statement tell saying that women, like, kept stealing condoms. And I just think that should be illegal. Like, you shouldn't be I able mean, to legally do Drake that. Drake had to put hot sauce in his condom. Yeah, like... I'd say that's one. To stop this woman from getting yeah. a baby. There are women out there literally incentivized to try and get a rich man's baby. I can 100% agree with that. Um, and it, it's not even, hmm, how can I say? Okay, man, I've seen so many experiences like this. Being in the military, especially whenever we would, or we're about to get deployed, you know how many girls who would be in these rinky-dink army towns who, <laughs> you know, are the local stripper at the strip joint who see an influx of men, especially young, gullible men, they would try to trap a nigga before he gets deployed so they know they can get that income coming in while they're, you know, downrange. This was, this is, this was done so often that the boys, when they would come and they're new on campus or new on the base, they would have to get told to watch out for these, these types of women because they do actually exist. And that's not, and that's only from my, from, from the military experience. Um, and then when I was in foster care, so many kids, because they couldn't um, find, you know, someone and, and they, they wanted financial support, um, the quickest way that they would get that financial support, meaning women, not men, was getting pregnant and then leashing off of government daddy. It all for security. It's, this is nothing to do. And when you go down that approach, it has nothing to do with actually, you know, caring about the child and loving the child. It's more so that you can be secure while, you know, and then you're just using your child as an excuse. That's how I see it. So it's like these, these types of women out here who think that this doesn't happen in real life, yeah, they're most definitely delusional. Definitely delusional. That was just one story with Drake and one random lady, and it doesn't represent all women in the so, world. So I, I understand that, but I do these interviews all the time. So I, I'll go on the street, I'll talk to Matt, like, I'll talk to Matt, random people on the street, random people in my living room, and I've had so many guys tell me stories of girls doing this to them. Go ahead. 
and you, your guys' opinions favour a certain side. So when you go out on these ventures and you ask people, you know what you're looking for, you know what you can put so, and oh, edit and post. Are you saying we're rigging the game now? Is that what you're no, saying? not rigging the game, but yeah. you're looking for something, and that's why you're going out there. So you no, it's not even that you're rigging the game. This girl here is so delusional. She thinks that women are so innocent. Women are not that innocent. I mean, not trying to sit here and say that men are, are, you know, oh my God, these vulnerable creatures too. I'm not saying that at all. But th these women act like they don't do anything wrong in society. Like they have no um, no responsibility of, or, of why our society is the way it is. Bullshit. A lot of women do this. And because of this, this is what turns men into dicks. They turn into these assholes that don't want to do anything for women or, or feel, you know, certain way towards women because of how they were treated in the past by these types of women. And it's, it's insane and they think they wonder why that oh my god i can't date anybody i can't find anybody i can't do maybe it's because the women who came before you fucked it up why don't you yourself try not to fuck it up i mean we were, we were all guilty of fucking up at some point in time but in this instance these women here they feel like women have had no responsibility and like how crazy our society has come from this social aspect between what men and women and you know how they treat each other like just okay I, I, also think I would say I would say I get more people that disagree to be honest when I go out than agree so yeah. I wouldn't say I'm like rigging the game okay but it's, if you if you're gonna have sex with a woman mm -hmm. sorry mm -hmm. I say sex? you can say sex. <laughs> <laughs> can I say woman um, <laughs> um, there is an there is a chance that that woman may get pregnant like so if you have sex with a guy there's a chance you might get pregnant yeah yeah that's on you so, yeah okay. so so if you yeah, if so you get to choose not to be a mother he should get to choose not to be a father equal mm. yeah equality Who, whose responsibility do you think it is for getting pregnant it's a both equal. of them it's, it's yeah it's yeah. definitely a yeah that's how? a yeah but women have more to risk by getting yeah, pregnant yeah, yeah. How? How? they how? need to have exercise uh, unless it's a it's, mm. unless it's a situation of grape you let the man inside <gasps> so, how, so how is it? So it's your responsibility if you get pregnant, even though it's it's it's. A no, I said huge responsibility for it, it to get pregnant. All of the power is within the woman's hands. You have the right to say yes mm -hmm. or no. Yeah. Once you do say yes or no, you have the right to keep the baby. You have the right to either um, put the baby up for adoption. You have the right to put the man on child support. We it's also all, it's, we, it's we, also, we also have birth control. You can get an IUD. It's like yeah. ninety nine point nine nine percent effective. It's, it's, so it's yeah, so I'm IUDs saying, aren't great though. Birth control isn't great to be but i'm saying that's a better option than what, what men have or you can require them and you we know what this this the what the statistics say about birth control i just sit here and say that birth control isn't great is not all that great okay if you get a 98 or 96 percent on your test does that not mean that you are inept in that subject or does that mean you know a little bit about what you're supposed to be testing on. Maybe you study the material or study the topics. And therefore, since you did, you got a good grade. Maybe we should apply that logic to birth control. You know, if it has a 96%, that's better than the 4%. Okay, so I would think that birth control mm, is probably doing its job pretty well. But, you know, let's not think about that. Let's not, let's not correlate those two because then that won't fit the narrative of, you know, why oh, I have no responsibility in bearing a child or, or, or bringing a child into the world. You most definitely do. With wear a condom. So it's like, I'm saying we have all the power when it comes to sex but, and who, who gives birth and who picks who is born. Yeah, nowadays a woman's, I feel like a woman's really only going to have a kid if she like, really wants to because yeah. there are so many ways for her to prevent that at different stages all throughout. But I also think if there were more support for women who do want to have children, may not have necessarily found the right man who actually wants to have a child with her. If she was able to get more financial support, there then she wouldn't feel like she'd need to trap a man. Oh, but she's in not entitled to that. Baby. That's, a, that's, a, that's a horrible excuse. Yes. Yes. You think you, you're, are you excusing a girl trying to get a kid off of a rich guy because I'm she doesn't? To, like I'm that, not trying to excuse it, but, but that's what you're doing. If, if like you know, childcare is really expensive. Okay. Right. Raising a child is really expensive and it's really hard to do on your own, right? Yeah, but so if you, you get really married. Want a child, you should get married and do it. 
but what if no one wants to marry you? Did you know that before well, you got pregnant? Then you need to, well, well, you need yeah. to, you then, need then to maybe, change your strategy. Well, my, well yeah. I'm saying maybe lower your standards then. <laughs> if, no one, if no one other guys you like want to marry you, you're probably shooting too high. Or, or change how what? you deal with just men. Like, just like if a dude's shooting at Victoria's Secret models and they all tell him no, like he'll probably be like, oh, let me adjust. What if you're like, and what if you're like, just don't see any men that you, like... Sperm donor. Yeah. So yeah, I, what if you're donor. asexual? <laughs> you don't have any romantic yeah. or sexual interest ever. You just, just want baby. to live life, have a kid. Well, isn't that selfish? That's selfish. To bring, to bring a kid it's into a, a situation It's all, it's where all sexual no, orientation. I, it's, it's not selfish. You don't think children need two, two parents? What? Okay, so what... Okay. This code goes back, in my opinion, to security. You, you literally just had the girl with the curly hair give an excuse of why men should not have a financial abortion if the woman chooses to have a kid. Um, and we all know that women who want to have an abortion, their main argument with why they, like, when it comes to men is that, no, look, this is my body, my choice, and therefore you will not have any decision in whether or not I choose to have an abortion. Like, if you're that bold enough to say that, you have no idea whether or that, not that man was ready or, and wanted to have a, a, a kid that they could care for, you know, love and pour all their resources into. Um, you don't know that, but you took it upon yourself to have an abortion. I do think that men should have that as well. If, especially if a woman, uh, with women out here purposely trying to trap niggas and shit, like, no, they should be able to have that right as well. I, I think it's asinine to sit here and say, I want to have a kid just because I want to have a kid. And because of that, I'm going to rope you in financially, whether or not you want it. It's very selfish and very narcissistic, if you ask me. Let's let's listen to these naive young women um, talk talk their talk. Friends. No. Well, I think well, they need a community. Yeah, what, I don't think they need why, two parents. This is one of the reasons why society is broken, because women are actually literally running around thinking that children don't need two parents. If you're a good enough person, I, I, you can I, teach a child just, by yourself. I just read I know you. That. I just read you a bunch of stats showing that children that come from single mothers that's, are statistically at a disadvantage in, in nearly every category. Yeah, that's not necessarily and then, you're, and then you're going to tell me, oh yeah, it's fine, let's raid a child by... If you're, child. Like, I, don't, I think, I think yeah. it's equally selfish if a dude does the same thing. Like, if, if a dude if a dude wanted to, I don't know, adopt as a single father, like, I think that's yeah. selfish. And even if you can't, that doesn't necessarily mean you should. Yeah, like, because you're putting, you're putting what you want above what is best for the kid. I think if you're adopting a child, whether you're a single person or not, I think that's a really lovely thing to do. Because being in the care system is not fun. Mm -hmm. And if you're a single... So you say that, but then... Wasn't it like five, two, three minutes ago you said community? Community is necessary for raising a child. But then you sit here and see how the system, which is a community, the, the foster care system, it is a community that raises these kids. You then sit here and say how it is not great. It is not, you know, like the cognitive, the cognitive, what is it, cognitive dissonance is astounding here. It's astounding parent mm -hmm. it's better than having no parent no one to look after you you've got care workers in and out all day and also like what do you I think happens in the community <laughs> but an ideal situation would be in an, like, an ideal what do you think happens in a community the situation yeah. is two parents would you right. not agree with that i would i would agree that you need a support system it doesn't necessarily mean it needs to be two parents you could have four parents you could have, you friends. Could have you could have cousins and aunties who are older. Do you think that's like the same as having a mom and a dad yeah. in the home? I've never had both, so I, I have no idea. I could not compare. I think right, if the but, kid has adults who love them and show that they love them yeah. openly and always... See, then so it, they give their definition of what a community is. But when, in reality, that is not what a community is. Your community is not your just your extended family, okay? That's not the definition of what community means. But yet she will go on and give her, this is what's wrong with women like this. Any woman who says that a child does not need to be raised in a two-parent household is delusional and, um, and, and would prefer that their child be raised by a community. Community has individuals who come and go all the time. 
your child will never have anything to anchor them down other than you. And you yourself have to go to work eight hours a day. So you're going to lead your child around people that they won't be able to establish connections with, they won't be able to establish bonds with because they are coming and going all the time. You think that is better than being in a two parent household. I can promise you this. When I was in foster care, um, you know, I was only in it for five years after my parents died. I will tell you this. Every Christmas, every kid, including myself, you know what we wished for? We wished for a mom and a dad. We did not wish for single parents because a lot of the majority of the times it was single, not, it was women who were, who were our caretakers, okay? And when you look at that, from my perspective, that's just single women trying to take care of kids. There's barely any males in the in, um, uh, in these types of institutions trying to rear, um, bring in foster care, um, raise foster care kids. It was mainly just women. And I would cry. I would cry every day because I know the importance of having a male father figure in your life. And, you know, I was adopted. My, my parents were who took me in, I was adopted. And I am, since I know what it's like to have a mom and a dad, and they're not um, better, they're more, like they both have their own, like uh, I guess you can call it components that they bring to the table. They're not the same, they are complementary. And when you have that, it does create a balance. And, and I believe in a child's mind, you know, the difference between masculinity and femininity, who would you go to when you have a certain problem, certain issue, because they, they are literally people who have tools that are, that can be used in all sorts of situations. But sometimes you would go to your dad for certain things versus your mom and vice versa. That, that's like, that's the beauty of having, you know, a two parent household. Like I've said, I've never once seen foster care kids pray, beg Santa Claus for a single parent. They pray and beg Santa Claus for a mom and a dad. But call me crazy. Maybe little kids do know a little something about the wanting to grow up in a healthy society and a healthy family and the one that will bring them the most joy and the most security. matter if it's specifically a man and a woman or two parents that raise them so yeah. it's a community so and it's someone that shows love so in all the statistics that i read they never had a father in the home there are so okay. many different so hang on hang on they never had a father in the home okay it was single they never had a father this shows that boys and girls need both their mother and their father to be f fully functioning members of society who aren't going to be rapists who aren't going to be pr uh, prisoners who aren't going to be you know misfits but I, I, I see this is one of the things that I can't understand why women would argue for singledom and to raise a child by themselves and then act like it's normal. Like it's going gonna, it's gonna to benefit society. Yeah. It's, gonna, it's, it's not going to benefit society when it comes it's to prison. Not. It's not going to benefit society it's when not. it comes to crime. So why do it? I think what you just said is that you can't be a normal functioning member of society if you were raised that's by a single mom. That's not what you said. It's about probability. That's not, that's not, that's not. We're saying that's that, what that's I that, heard. That's, and that's also that, okay, but just because you heard it, that's not what he said. Yeah. That's not what he said. Okay. So what he, what we're saying is it puts you at every statistical yeah. disadvantage. Yeah. So why would you push that in a society? Yeah. I don't think, personally, I'm not speaking to everyone else, I'm not pushing it, but if that's your best bet, like, you know, then... Yep. That's so, all, all you can do is your best, and if you're doing your best, then like what else can you get married? Expect someone to do? I think like, there's always okay. there's, 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 al there's always there's, oh. there's always a guy that's gonna marry you. Okay. Like I'm sorry, one out of three men are either virgins or haven't had sex in the last year. So the issue is just like the guys that girls want don't want them, and so I think the the solution is getting a guy on your level. Mm. I feel like the thing with the <laughs> parents, the kids, the mothers. I feel like kids are just kids. They would they just arrived here. They don't know anything. The the only way a kid is going to be disadvantaged a from a single parent or whatever is when they go, grow up and then they hear people talking about it. Do you have a child? So basically, you, you're trying to normalize single motherhood. That's what you're trying to do. And it's, it's like, it's, it all comes back to this narcissistic bullcrap behavior. You want the mother to feel not so bad because she raised a bastard, basically. That's what you want. 
and because of her feelings, you think that all the rest of the children should be raised by a single mom so that her feelings can be validated that she's not a bastard, that she's not raising a bastard child. She didn't make poor choices when in fact she did. This is her choice to raise, bring the child into the world and raise, raise it single, not anyone else's. And this is the reason why I like words have meanings. And you, in order to combat this type of this type of um, behavior in society, there needs to be some sort of um, stigma attached to it. Okay, bastards, you want to have bastard children? Okay, keep going ahead. Open up your legs, trying to trap a nigga so you can keep his money. Your kids should be called bastards and you should literally be called a whore because that's essentially what you're doing. You're using a man and that's what you call misandry. You're using a man like solely and only for financial purposes. But yet you would get so offended if a man turned around and said, you know what, your only use is to just have kids and be in the kitchen cooking. Yeah, I know so many feminists would just get so butthurt about that. But you have no, you have no capacity to feel or, or to admit, imagine the immense like turmoil that you're putting a man through by telling him he's only valuable because of his fucking wallet like oh my god i can't i i I've never thought this way about men i know i've done some crazy shit in my life but I, to think that lowly of them i think it's just i think it's like so distasteful and 